Long ago in the city of Banaras there once lived a great king and his name was King Brahmadatt He was loved by all the people in Banaras for instead of taxing people or making war King Brahmadatt loved to garden and of all the plants and trees in the city his favorite was the blossom tree It was said that even when Banaras was but a small village by the river the blossom tree was already an ancient plant Some people believed that the blossom tree's roots went so deep that they went to the realm of the demons. Others believed that the blossom tree's great boughs touched heaven itself. King Brahmadatt loved the blossom tree because to him it was a poem of life. He spent a lot of time in its shade, but for all the time King Brahmadatt spent beneath the boughs of the blossom tree, He never once noticed the little kusha grass that grew around the tree or the little chameleons that played around. No, he only had eyes for the blossom tree. But the spirit of the blossom tree knew all about the kusha grass and its spirit and the chameleons, for they had been friends for longer than time. One day the king was seated in his great throne room with his wife, the queen. sipping tea when something fell into his tea something has fallen into my tea he said it was white it floated then another bit fell he looked up the plaster was beginning to fall from the ceiling plaster he said suddenly there was a great rumble in the palace the palace is going to collapse he cried For making its way across the ceiling was an immense crack and great chunks of plaster were falling all across the great throne room and in the great wooden pillar which held up the entire palace there was a deep crack carpenters builders he cried quickly go out into the parks into the gardens find a tree to replace the pillar hurry We must repair the palace. So the carpenters and the builders searched from park to park, tree to tree, measuring, trying to find a tree great enough to replace the pillar. But it was not long before one of the head carpenters returned to the king and fell on his knees before him. Your Majesty, it pains me to report that there is only one tree great enough to replace the pillar. Well, what is it? What is it? asked the king. It is the blossom tree. The king looked at the builder. The jewel of Banaras? The most beautiful tree in all of India? No, no, there must be another. There is no other king. Poor King Brahmadatt. He did not know what to do. He could either save the blossom tree or let his palace collapse but he could not do the latter his servants his family lived there the people needed to see the king in the palace it was too big a decision for the king so he went that night out into the park to the blossom tree itself its mighty branches rose above him and he could feel its immense spirit surging from the earth up its trunk out its boughs out its leaves down into the earth into its roots again and he prayed to the spirit of the mighty tree for an answer but the spirit of the blossom tree said nothing please subscribe my youtube channel